accomplished what I came out here for this morning. I ended up um, raising up the door, the screen door and the outside door to the RV. And uh, how I accomplished that was I took some WD-40 and I um, lubricated all of the hinges. Then I took uh, this pile of wood over here, this table and pile of wood. I uh, raised up the door just enough to make the gap in the lower part of the hinge. And I don't know if you can see this or not. Here, let's go down to this hinge here. So initially when I raised the door, the gap was up, was in here. And that's what I needed to fill. So I took some uh, washers, the kind that have the slit in it, and um, I cut them with a wire cutter just enough to turn it into a C clamp. I, had, I looked all over the place and I could not find a C clamp. So uh, I turned my washer into a C clamp and then I uh, had my husband help me um, hold it. It's kind of a two person job to put them on. So um, I held the, the C clamp and a screwdriver. He tapped it with a hammer and we put it into place. So um, these are not stainless steel. I'm not sure how long they're going to last. However, it did raise the door just enough um, to where we need it and now it closes and opens like a charm. Okay so this is my first attempt at fixing a sagging door on our uh, Fleetwood Bounder. It's a 98. I'm sure over the years the door has gotten a lot of wear and tear. So what I'm trying to do is lift the hinges so this is what I'm working on right here, is, is lifting up the door uh, with the hinges. So first of all, I sprayed all the hinges with WD-40. Then under here, I propped the door up with a bunch of stuff um, to get it raised up. And then I also propped up the screen door because the screen, screen door was also sagging. So my next project here is I found a bunch of washers. Actually, they're eh, the washers with the slit in them, whatever you call those. And so I'm using those type of washers. I don't know if you can see, like, that's how big they are. And the next thing I'm doing is I'm bending them like this. The next attempt that I'm doing is to take this clipper and I'm going to snip this off. For the gals out there who are doing this, all I did with the first one was I took this metal clipper, I took the hammer, I smacked it a few times so it would break, and I came up with a C clamp. So, or a C washer. With the C washer, I was able to slide it into this hole here. I don't know if you can see. That's the C washer. I've got the door propped open. So anyway, and then I need to go in and attempt to tighten it. 